<laughs> all right, joining us next, all the way from the Golden State, is San Diego mayor and Republican candidate for California governor, Kevin Faulkner. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know it's bright and early out there, but the fight to recall Gavin Newsom and restore sanity in California knows no hour of the day. Uh, now, uh, from a legal standpoint, as the front runner right now in this race, can you give us an update on how that fight is going, particularly the fight to get over the first threshold, which is getting 50 percent of those who show up at the polls to say enough is enough. Well, good morning. And I will tell you, there's a, uh, a whole lot of enthusiasm for the fight out here in California. Um, you know, we got word, of course, uh, several weeks ago that the recall officially qualified over two million Californians of all persuasions, all walks of life signed that recall petition. And so very shortly here, we're going to get an actual recall date. And I can tell you, uh, the folks are energized. They are ready for a change at the top to actually have a real California comeback because this referendum is absolutely, uh, it's, it's about Gavin Newsom's failures and people are ready for a change. Now, I want to get one of your key issues, obviously, the homelessness crisis that is impacting California, impacting the whole nation, really. But the epicenter being California, uh, that is an issue that should not be partisan. Uh, it is, is a moral crisis as well as, again, uh, just a quality of life crisis. Uh, roughly 161,000 people in California without a home to call their own. Talk to us about the tent city environment that is sweeping all across your state. Well, look, I, unfortunately, you hit, you hit the nail on the head, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing homelessness explode in our great state in California. And that's why I've really taken this head on, just as I did when I was mayor of San Diego. I did not allow tent encampments on the sidewalk in San Diego. We made a huge difference. In fact, we reduced homelessness by double digits. And we need that same type of compassionate yet firm approach statewide in California, which is why this week I unveiled my Streets to Shelter program. We have to say enough's enough. We have to give people the help and the support that they deserve, but we also have to insist on our quality of life and make sure that we enforce that quality of life and take back our public spaces for our families and kids. And so this is an issue that cuts across. It's not about partisanship. It's about common sense. And I think that this is why you're seeing, you know, so many Californians who, when Gavin Newsom came out several years ago and self-appointed himself the, the homeless czar, has no action in California. In fact, the problem is getting worse. And so this is, a, I think, a real flashpoint out here in California, and it's right. one that you know, I'm ready to address head on and with the experience that I did as mayor. Right. Now, there's a quote that actually struck me from your website, wanted to share with our audience. It says, every time we drive down the freeway or walk through our communities, we see the human suffering enabled by California's ineffective homelessness policies. It's not progressive to let people live and die on the streets. I think, again, to our earlier point, this should not really be a partisan issue. Um, I think people need to understand that the road to hell is often paved uh, with the greatest of intentions. But right now, those policies are not only not working, they're actually harming the people they were intended they to help. They are. And this is a real humanitarian crisis in California. And, you know, you can drive all around our state and see it firsthand, unfortunately. It's getting worse, not better. And as I said, we, we have the tools to help turn it around. Why? Because we care about people. We care about people enough not to let them die on our streets and our sidewalks. And if you allow tent encampments, that's exactly what's going to happen. All right, my friend. I mean, it's really uh, just a, a crazy thing. But Kevin Faulkner, we appreciate you waking up early to join us here on NASA Report. Best of luck to you. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you again.